Hi, I'm David Kessler. I'm really honored to be with you here today and to talk about the concept of finding meaning after a death. As a grief specialist, I've learned so much from the people I've worked with for four decades now, but nothing prepared me for the death of my own younger son, David. And when that happened, the idea of just accepting his death wasn't enough. I wanted more. I wanted meaning. I studied the work of Viktor Frankl and so many others, people who had had a death from uh, a death from addiction, from death by suicide. They've had a spouse die, a parent die, a child die. I was so curious about how they could find meaning, what light looked like in the darkness. And so as I've learned about meaning and it became my newest book, I've, I've learned some things that first of all, meaning is not in the death. There is no meaning in our loved ones dying, uh, a death by cancer or Alzheimer's or any other kind of illness or addiction or a death by suicide or the pandemic. That's not where the meaning is. The meaning is in us. It's what we do after their death. It's how we honor them. And we always think about finding meaning as those big things, the person who started the nonprofit or the foundation or who did something grand. But the reality is meaning is found in moments inside of us. It's the meaning that we bring to our life after there is a death. The other thing is so many people think that meaning is a bypass to the pain or a quick way around the pain. We all unfortunately know there's no way around the pain or a quick way. But meaning is a cushion to our pain. And that helps us so much as we go through this loss. Meaning can be you realize the brevity of life, how short life is. Meaning might be you want to live a life that honors your loved one who died. Meaning might be you want to change the world so no one dies the way your loved one did. We all often hear about uh, someone saying, when my loved one died, a part of me died with him. Meaning might be that a part of them lives on in you. And how do we nurture that part? As I said, meaning is not going around the pain. I think of our work, you know, a little bit like Michelangelo's. He was asked once as he created an amazing works of art and statues, he was asked, you know, how do you create this amazing piece of art inside? And he said the piece of art was already in there. I just had to chip away the excess. When we work through a lot of our pain that we feel, in our own way, in our own pace, at our own time, we begin to find meaning. And I think of the work at our house, that's what they do every day. And as we look at this uh, week we're doing here, meaning takes on so many forms, whether it be grief yoga, whether it be meditation, mindfulness, art, cooking, so many other things, journaling, writing, walking, all those things help us access the meaning that will honor those who have died. So as I think about the work everyone at our house does and you showing up for your own grief, for your loved ones, to help others, that's meaningful to me. And it's identifying those meaningful moments that we create afterwards, the meaningful moments we shared with our loved ones, those memories, all of it becomes meaning. So thank you for being here. I'm David Kessler.